17. It is my 17th birthday. And I gotta figure out something special to do. Something not too big. And something special. What can be special and not too big at the same exact time? Well, how about something fairly simple and something fairly special? A top 10 list. Top 10 video game series I have done on my channel with my friends. Oh, and these are not my friends. These are just a bunch of NPCs I put to make this thing look more special. But they do have to do with the memory lane we're about to take a trip on. Especially those two. Pretty sure a lot of people should know what that is. Looks so confused. I doesn't know where where it is. The top ten list is compiled by me to commemorate commember commemb Wow. Me and Mason just really hate that word. To remember to remember the past as it once was. Because the past was very fun. And things are just now dull as you get older, so let's look at what I have. See, the past contains a lot of fun stuff, but sometimes some really cringy stuff as well, though. You look back on some of them and say, wow, we did that, or wow, we like that. I mean, there are those video games that could just become popular for absolutely no reason, and then just fly by like a passing fad for the next year or two. Isn't that right, Five Nights at Freddy's? You're really staring into my soul there, buddy. And there are also those memes that you have stuck in your head for a while before they finally die out. Isn't that right, Shrek? I couldn't find a proper ragdoll for him. Anyway, without further ado... Let's commence. What? I didn't have any time to think of anything special? Yes, yeah, a box. That's what I could think of as just like a present or something. Don't judge me. I worked on this thing since 1 a.m. I took a few hours of sleep and came right back up at 5 a.m. It's almost 6 a.m. Now then, let's see what we got here for the top 10 list. Number 10, Call of Duty Zombies. Starting in 2013, Jacob had invited me to Black Ops 2 Zombies after I had gotten it for Christmas. Apparently, he said he was going to be playing Ghosts, however, because Ghosts was kind of a little brand new. Uh, he, he quickly turned that one down and went for Black Ops 2. After that, for a while, we had a lot of Black Ops 2 Zombies videos. Something about the survival was just so fun for us. He he was the pro. He knew exactly what to do in all of it. He knew how to do everything, and I followed his footsteps very carefully, as carefully as I could. At some point, he almost got falsely banned, so I thought that the ninth episode would have been the end. Apparently it wasn't, so we continued. Robert made his debut in the 15th one, on May 9th, 2015. Yeah, we went from 2013 to 2015 with these. We ended off on the 16th one for Black Ops 2, then went to World at War later in the year. Of course, we ran out of maps, and I couldn't get modded maps at the time. So eventually, we, re we revisited the original game. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. I just noticed this today. We did a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The last six episodes of Black Ops 2 Zombies in 2015. Then all the World at War maps in 2015. Then revisited the old game in 2015. And yeah, there's a lot of 2015 stuff there. Eventually, I could do modded maps, but they were too tough for me to do. So, I only ended up probably doing like one or two with them. 
last uh, zombies video I ever did was with Gavin and a few of his friends on World War II zombies. Number 9 Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront, uh, I love the game with Robert too. I love Star Wars Battlefront EA and Battlefront 2, except that they just need a lot more stuff in them. <laughs> yeah, me and Robert are anticipating the next few updates in the coming months, and we will be prepared for that. We will be prepared. Point is, Star Wars Battlefront is high on my list because it's a fun game to me. Personally, this, this list is a little different to me. That's not what I'm ranking things on. I'm not, like, ranking favorites or anything. I'm ranking, ranking these numbers in a different order, you might say. But Battlefront 2, Battlefront EA, and then Battlefront 2 uh, 2017. This all fits for number 9. Battlefront 2 first was with Jacob and Mason a few times. Yeah, Jacob and Mason. Apparently we figured out we could play multiplayer using the... What was it? Ah, I can't remember what Jacob called it. Game Ranger? Game Ranger, yeah. We got a Game Ranger thing and we were able to play multiplayer until they re-released the multiplayer and then we didn't have to use it, but it's not like he's ever going to play that again. Or it's not like I'm going to re remove my current mods to play with the... Sky King again because that was a pain in the A to reinstall. In the middle of Battlefront, like January of 2017, Robert made his debut return after Black Ops 2 Zombies all oh, those years ago. Well, two years ago. Yeah, he was split from it on a very long hiatus. Couldn't find a game to play with him. After the final episode, however, we decided to do marathons until Battlefront 2 came out. Battlefront 2 came out, we played it like heck. We played it forever. Battlefront 2 is one of those games, weirdly enough, that me and Robert could play on a daily basis and we wouldn't get too bored on it. It's weird. Something about it is just that something we like. Number 8. Disney Infinity. I, I would not have thought I'd put this on my list, but I have to put this on my list. That's where the first video with Sky King came in. You know, Mason. First video of Sky King was ever filmed on Disney Infinity. After that, it felt like a running gag to continue playing the game. Almost like how me and Jacob felt with Woody's Roundup, except except Jacob was different about it. <laughs> different opinions there. Me and Mason continued to Disney Infinity 2.0, the Avengers campaign. After that, uh, we did the interior house decoration thing for some reason. That's where the greatest meme we've ever came up with started. Couches. Me and Mason created a whole new meme with those couches. We will never forget those couches. Sky King, you better not forget those couches. In fact, I'm going to message him right now. You best never forget the couches. After that ended, uh, a year later, we did Disney Infinity 3.0. Because I had got it for Christmas after we did the second one. <laughs> Disney Infinity 3.0, however, took a very long turn. The first episode of it was in 2016. Then the second episode was in January of 2017. Then in the summer of 2017, I found an opportunity to finish it as fast as possible. Uh, by reconvening with the third episode in June 15th of 2017 and then finishing the rest all the way through until June 24th. June 24th, Disney Infinity 3.0 Finale, Episode 3, 13, Battlegrounds. Man. It's just important because it's the first time Sky King and I have ever first did a video. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. This one's a little different, actually. Number 7, Ubisoft with Gavdog, or Ubisoft with Gavdog, however people say it. Weird one, right? Ubisoft with Gavdog, what does that even mean? What kind of game is that? Ubisoft? Isn't that a company that develops games? Yes, it is. Basically, uh, there's a whole, there was a whole thing where me and Gavin, in one year, we, uh, several times Gavin downloaded Trials to a bunch of Ubisoft video games. 
I, however, either got the trials as well, or I already had the game. Me and him played the multiplayer versions of those games a lot. It was, it was like, a, it was The Division, Ghost Recon, Watch Dogs 2. That's what those were. Just a few episodes of those, and yeah. Something about it just showed chemistry between us. It was like chemistry with Limbo and Gavdog. It was just us. That was it. Only us, and with like uh, the return of Chandler. No one knows who that guy is. But me and Jacob, well, I don't know if Jacob even remembers him, but me and Jacob played with him a long time ago. 2014, maybe? Man. Chandler. <laughs> I remember him. Yeah. Three parts of The Division, two parts of Ghost Recon, and one big Watch Dogs 2 movie. Number six, Warframe. Now, Warframe, the way I heard about Warframe was quite different, really. Uh, back when Minecraft when it was back when Minecraft was in its prime, I watched a YouTuber, a bunch of YouTubers, but one of them was named Skitscape. He was a Minecraft YouTuber. At some point, he made three. He did a few other little games on the side with his friend Fod. And they eventually did a little three-parted uh, episode series of Warframe. I was mem mesmerized. I kind of liked the look of Warframe. Kind of liked how how it looked. I wanted to get it, but I didn't think I would buy it anytime soon. And then a few years later, in 2015, at some point when I was just watching it again, I just noticed that I skipped over the beginning all the time. I just always skipped over the beginning every time I viewed the video. So when I first saw the beginning of the video, he said that it was free. I never knew that he said it was free two years ago, 2013. So in 2015, when I finally saw that scene, I downloaded the game right away because I wanted to play it if it was free. And then Jacob, apparently already having the game, just comes in with me. We did the quests, found Vor, created a meme with Vor and the Kubrows, we called the Kubrows Gab Dogs, and we found a joy to killing Vor in Warframe, which is why there's so many videos of me fighting Vor in Warframe. Mason came to the game way too late, way too late. He finally came in, but I never ended up playing it with him long enough. Jacob came back for like five more episodes and then the Once Awake quest. After the Once Awake quest, he just got bored of the game. You know how I, get, know how I know he got bored of the game? Here's how. September, like after September, uh, for some reason Warframe stopped working on me. I couldn't play Warframe anymore. And then once I got it fixed, the problem fixed. Months later. I asked Jacob, hey, wanna play Warframe again? I got it fixed. Jacob said, okay, sure. We'll play it after lunch. That was at 11. 11 on a Monday. A Monday, a school day off. 11 o'clock AM. He came back at like 12.30 or something, and then I asked him. He didn't reply. So I wasted the rest of that Monday talking to him while he was online playing a game at some point, then getting off of it, probably realizing that I'm still there trying to talk to him. He doesn't reply to me several times, what I believe was out of fear of not telling me that he didn't want to play the game. He finally replies to me, and he came up with the most boring of excuses as to why he did not reply, and he like came up with a new excuse every time I pointed out the flaw in the previous said excuse. Eventually, I figured out that Robert wanted to play the game, so he got it, and I've been helping him out a few times. I decided to change up my Warframe look, because for some reason I liked those previous colors, and then I didn't. Now my Tenno looks more badass. And then, after that, me and Robert just enjoyed... Warframe. See, in June and July of 2017, me and Robert filmed Warframe. We filmed it... We filmed a lot of Warframe playthroughs. We started in February and ended off in June and July somewhere. Took a random hiatus out of nowhere, because uh, I don't know. And next thing you know, in like uh, the summer, while I'm editing uh, previous said Warframe videos a year ago, summer of 2018, I noticed that Robert's echo in one of the videos was horrible. So I couldn't do that mission, I couldn't edit that mission. 
So I re-downloaded the game. I re-downloaded the game, asked him to download the game so that we can do that mission again with a better audio. And then all of a sudden we figure out how to progress in Warframe officially, and then we get hooked on it. I'm still uploading episodes of Warframe. Number 5. GTA 4 Multiplayer. This series was 100 episodes. It holds this spot because of not only its length, it is the first online game I ever filmed playing. And it is the first online game I've ever played with Jacob. And it is the first time me and Jacob fought online. We dueled. First time we encountered hackers online, yeah. First time Derek appeared, yeah. First time Dr. Payne won, appeared, yeah. And I spelled Derek wrong in this video. Look at that, I spelled Derek wrong. It was the first of something. It started in 2013. Spread on all the way till the end of 2013. And yeah. You see, me and Jacob, however, I didn't have a mic, so I couldn't talk to anyone. I couldn't talk to anyone in-game, I couldn't talk to Jacob in-game. Jacob had a mic already. I couldn't. But then I remembered, a long time ago, early days of YouTube, I saw a YouTuber doing the Spongebob movie game when I was younger. I watched him do a Shadow 2 4 sets of something. Him and his friend, Max Million, I think, I don't know. They were talking to each other through the phone on speaker. And I thought, hey Jacob. Let's use our phones to chat through speaker. And we did it. Number four, Gary's Mod. Yes, Gary's Mod is number four. Not number two or number three or even number one, number four. That's a great story about how me, Jacob, and Adrian got into Gary's Mod first. Hamachi, a long time ago. Hamagachi, Hamachi, however it was said. Mason called it either Hamagachi or Kamikaze. I don't know what he called it. But we... We did not know how to work it. <laughs> we did not have we did not know how it worked itself. September of 2014, I kept telling them, we have to keep trying. It was all in one day. I don't know what day, because that day was never filmed. It was in September. In between September 7th and September 16th. It was not that long. Somehow we figured it out. We did it. I wish I filmed it, but I barely remember what we did with it. I remember we were flying around GM City, that's all it was. It was always GM City. I brought Sky King in literally just a few days after we figured out how to do it. Aku Aku's Crazy World, I remember that. It's just how creative we were, how much stuff we did. We did uh, hide and seeks and whatnot. We did G Gary's Mod Murder, we did that. <laughs> oh hey, check it out, demonetize. <laughs> Gary's Mod is also the birthplace of Death Troopers Revolved. Number three, Team Fortress 2. <laughs> this one beats Gary's Mod, believe it or not, for these reasons, just these two reasons. It is the first game where me, Jacob, Adrian, and Sky King came together in, the first, in one game. September 26th, that's when it was. All four of us fought. All four of us fought in the game. All four of us played in the game. That's where the Centurions were born. 2014. All four of us went through Team Fortress 2. It was amazing. But, not only was it the first time where we came together, it was also the last time we came together. November 2017. I'm sure we came back in like somewhere in 2018, like for something else, but it's the last time we really did something like a uh, fighting in a game together. I'm, I'm glad I was able to get them. <clears throat> you see, around November, I knew things were like deteriorating a bit. When Jacob, uh, you know, I'm gonna leave that out of the picture. No, that's a private affair. <laughs> no, things were deteriorating between us, like not deteriorate, not deteriorating exactly, just dissolving. Things were dissolving away. So I tried to chalk up a plan. Upload a few more Team Fortress videos that would equal to uh, 50 episodes at least so I can make a proper finale instead of just putting it on a random number so I make it, can make an episode 50. I can make an episode 50 and then I can make a finale. 
And then, right when I was ready for that finale, I asked all three of them if we could all do it. They did it. They agreed, and I was glad. We had fun. We had the best ending we, we could think of at the time. We all laughed. It was amazing. <laughs> it, was, it was just so good. So fun at the time. So amazing. Number two, GTA Online. GTA Online makes it to the number two spot. Starting in 2013, December, and temporarily ending, or maybe ending, I don't know. Maybe temporary. Anyway, temporarily ending in April 14th of 2018. 270 episodes, buddy. When I was, uh, when me and Jacob were playing GTA 4 multiplayer, I said, I'm gonna make more episodes than 100 on GTA 5 online. I was gonna make more episodes than 100. <laughs> I kinda clearly did. 270 episodes, man. GTA Online makes it to the number two spot because of not only its length, but the drive me and Jacob had in the beginning and the amount of friends I met within the whole series. Um, the friends, amount of friends that came back to, amount of friends that disbanded away, yeah. Me and Jacob, when we first got into GTA Online, we wanted to do the heists. We were driven to do the heists whenever we can get to it. The heists were what we wanted, because I, I spotted people walking into the bank in the first trailer, and that was just teasing the heists. For, unfortunately, the heists came way later too late, actually. Jacob was not feeling too keen about GTA anymore. He took a bunch of hiatuses several times, and coming back later all of a sudden, it's weird. A bunch of returns and a bunch of goes. What the heck, you come back then you leave after one day, Jacob? Yeesh. Make up your mind, buddy. Ugh. Anyway. Jacob, Jacob may have gotten bored of the game, but that didn't take me away from all the other friends I had. Gavdog made his first appearance in GTA Online. Backspace made his return appearance because Backspace was in Black Ops Zombies a while back. <laughs> that was crazy. It was with Derek, too. There was one thing on my mind after that. The heist. The heist began to come in. Now I was like, Jacob, we're finally going to be able to do it. And Jacob was like, uh, okay, so those are finally coming back. I'm not sure if I want to do them. No. And I was like, come on, man. Let's try it. We got to get other people to do it. And he was like, all right, I guess we could try it. And I was like, okay, get your mic. And then he was like, oh, forget that. I'm using Skype. I don't want to use a mic. Seriously, that thing's overrated. I didn't know what to do, because Gavin and Daryl... They were my only other options left by that time, and they used mics. They couldn't talk to Jacob through Skype. And Gavin's Skype is through his phone, which sucks. I remember when he first met Adrian. <laughs> Go had Skype. Derek had Skype. Rigo had GTA. Derek was going to get GTA 5 for his birthday from his dad, or his uncle, or someone. I don't know what it was. I don't know who it was, but we were going to have our four-man heist thing, our whole crew prepared, our Skype crew prepared. We actually discussed what positions we'd take in some of the heists, all four of the heists. We reviewed the heists and decided to take wagers on which positions we'd take, but then the hope went straight down to the ground. Rigo broke his mic. <laughs> Couldn't talk on Skype. We thought, no problem, we can try to make this work. Or I thought, no problem, we can try to make this work. And then, things could've got any worse. Derek, for his birthday, was given GTA 4. A game he already had. Whoever was giving it to him was mistaken, and he did not get GTA 5. <laughs> uh, the high stream was down the drain. Basically, GTA turned to me as if it was... Michael DeSanta after he finally got out of the got out of the job got out of the gig I was like Michael DeSanta just sitting around miserable in GTA like I couldn't do it much anymore Gavin was like Trevor 
he was just always doing it, always getting reckless, and always doing whatever it took. And always, you know, pasteurizing me too for it, yeah. <laughs> me and Gavdog were the veterans of GTA Online after that. Yacht Yaz became the new Franklin, because Robert came in way later, and like, uh, was like, you know, climbing his way to the top, you know. But yeah, this is all when I got to the PS4 edition. I miss it. I miss when it was at its prime. I miss that moment when I blasted Richard in the face and got rank 120. I miss the charisma that Jacob had in him. I miss the, uh, the ability to do the heist. All that. That's GTA Online. Now it's time for some honorable mentions, Watch Mojo style. Unturned. That came as a bit of a random outcome. I don't even remember where we were discussing it. I don't even remember how Jacob talked me into it. I don't even know how he talked Adrian into it. Unturned. I got nothing on Unturned. That was during. All I know is that was during the Warframe time. Warframe timeline. That was during that. Yeah, Unturned just happened. Left for Dead 2. This one's a good one. Yeah, that one that one was a good one. I don't know what brought us to Left 4 Dead 2, but Jacob knew I was all for Left 4 Dead. So when we got it, we played it. We loved it. We got Mace in it, or I don't know if we got Mace in it. Or if he bought it himself. Point is, good old Sky. He was not a Left 4 Dead 2 person. <laughs> Once he got Left 4 Dead 2, though, it took him two days. Two days to figure out everything there is to know about Left 4 Dead 2. It took him two days. When me and Jacob finally played a game with him, he kept on giving us obvious hints that we knew already. <laughs> it was funny. It was like, just, we know, I think. Do you, are you okay, Mason? You seem like you've been up too long on the game. Like, it was funny. Orion Prelude, that was, I don't know. It's in honorable mentions because it's in my head. It's just, it's something I feel like I should remember. It's something I feel like I should keep remembered. Me and Jacob got it because it was like 10 cents or something on sale, and... It was very laggy, poorly optimized. I had issues, but I guess something about it, something about the three episode little thing just worked. I don't know. Minecraft. That's the next one. Uh, this one's hard to think about nowadays. Minecraft used to be amazing for weird reasons. Weirdly popular game. Weird, weird prime. It was at a weird prime. Daryl brought me into the PS3 edition because he got addicted to it on the PS3 edition. I played it with Sky, first online game I played with Sky King. Not scared as Minecraft. No, not that guy. Ugh. But me and Sky, we're fans of Sky. <laughs> That's the funny part. Me and Sky King played Minecraft a lot. It was like, uh, like it should have continued. Minecraft should have been better for some reason. It feels like Minecraft got disappointing. It was weird. Minecraft feels like it's died out, and it kind of has now for some reason. It's also... It's also... Uh, saddening. Because it also makes me... It also reminds me of all the uh, YouTubers I used to watch when I was younger. All the Minecraft YouTubers, how they slowly dissipated into what almost feels like tragedy, but is not really tragedy, but more of disappointment. Almost. Some of the YouTubers who just went around did their own thing, it just feels saddening. This guy does Minecraft didn't have a good outcome, Basher did not have a good outcome whatsoever. A lot of others, Skitscape removed his videos for temp- what he said temporarily, and then has an up- public- publicized them ever since? <laughs> Jeez. It was like... Wow. It's just disappointing, you know? Ah, I, I forgot to put this. Yeah, I did all this at 1am, I forgot. 
Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah. I think Fortnite puts... I think Fortnite deserves a little, little respect since it's still, like, new and it's for some reason popular. Fortnite deserves a little respect because I guess I'm still doing it. It's new, but yeah, it's still going. Number one. Hello, this is Limbo Slam, and with me is RTW Forever. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Toy Story 3, Woody's Roundup. Who would have frickin' thought? <laughs> Uh, the first game that I ever played with someone else. Not only that, the first game I ever played with Jacob as well. Uh, not only that, the first game I ever played that lasted so long and was still so popular. Six seasons, man. Six seasons in the span of a few years. You'd expect us to just end it off once we beat it, but something about it just felt like a running gag to continue. I think it was when we did, did season two. Season two was fun. See? You get me? Season 2, me and Jacob, for some reason, enjoyed every bit of it. Even though we didn't. Didn't, but we did. And not only that, me and Sky found the most amazing glitch ever in the game. Toy Story 3, Woody's Roundup Season 6, Episode 5, bringing Mason to the table. 1,000 views. Exactly 1,000 views. Correction. Yes. Weirdly enough, if you think about it deeply, if you were in my mind, You'd, you'd, for some reason, understand why it'd be number one. You'd understand, and, like, it's weird. You'd understand, and you wouldn't. It fits for number one, at the same time it doesn't at the same time. Toy Story 3 Ladies Roundup is number one. <laughs>